My name is Arnold Blair. Uh, my nickname is Phil. It's, uh, my mother nicknamed me that when I was born. I'm 48. I live in New York City with my son, Alex, who's 12. I'm an attorney and also do photography on the side. I had a lot of ear infections in my left ear. And I had so many of them that I, it ate away my eardrum and I could not hear. I, I went to lots of doctors and my, I ended up having two operations, one when I was, I think, eight and one when I was 10, to try to fix the problem. Neither, the first one was not successful at all. And the second one, it restored my hearing to maybe 40%. Uh, and I was told that was it. This is the best that it would be. So when I first met Arnold, his story was actually relatively typical for patients that I come in contact with. He had had a history of ear infections when he was younger and actually had had two prior surgeries and had been using a hearing aid. And when it was time for him to get a new hearing aid, he had seen a physician that said, you know, you might want to consider an evaluation by a specialist because there are some new things that might be appropriate for you. And that person really wasn't sure but wanted to make sure to hook them up with someone who did know um, or have their finger on the pulse of what options were currently there. So when I first saw Arnold, uh, I knew very shortly after meeting him that we might have something that was going to be able to help him. And I remember the day of the consultation. And she looks at my ear and says, oh yeah, yeah, you have an ear infection. Oh yeah, you know, you have a, uh, you don't have an eardrum, but we, the hearing test showed my nerves were alive though. And I remember her saying, yeah, we can fix you. Someone like Arnold, I knew immediately would have a good response to a prosthesis because he didn't have any, what we call sensory neural hearing loss or nerve related hearing loss. His hearing loss was something we call conductive, which is related to the bones of hearing. And it's really important for people to figure out or be diagnosed with the, the kind of hearing loss that they have. There may be many more options than they even know about. Arnold's story is, is a really great one um, on so many levels, but I have to say also quite typical. This is a surgery we do a lot of, uh, and the actual surgery that he underwent was, was pretty smooth. After I took my, uh, followed the instructions, took the helmet off, uh, took whatever padding they said I could take out. They took, we went out to dinner. And I remember sitting in the restaurant and my, my bad ear, now my okay ear, was like to the restaurant and all, I heard pings, I heard voices. I heard everything I've never heard before. I was hearing the restaurant in stereo. And my mother looks at me and says, Phil, your eyes are darting all over the place. I'm like, yeah, that's because I'm hearing everything. I never heard hearing like this before. It was amazing. I never expected it to work immediately. My son reacted very happy because suddenly the activities I wouldn't do with him or I was grumpy when he wanted to do them, that was never an issue anymore. Uh, I could go swimming with him, we could go canoeing, we could do stuff, water-related sports that uh, I never thought I'd be able to do with him. Anyone that has any hearing issues, if they can, should come here and see if they could get help. Everyone I came in contact with was nothing more than professional and was working towards the goal of making my experience a success and my operation a success. I feel very fortunate that through fate, I ended up at the Ear Institute and not somewhere else.